today's topic, phase. Phase, phase, phase. It's all about the phase. We're going to demonstrate some the effect that things being out of phase has on a drum, and then we're going to do it with, with the guitar. It's going to be really, really obvious on the guitar. When something isn't in phase, it's, it, it's going to thin your sound out. It's going to take your body away. The overheads and the snare mic typically are out of phase a lot, and we lose the body of the snare. Things sound not only thin, but it get, it'll get harsh. Cymbals will get harsh. The snare drum's going to sound really boxy. So I want to hammer home this idea of checking your phase all the time. Take the time to do that because that the phase alone can ruin your tracks, and no amount no amount of EQ is going to bring that back, ever. It's not going to happen because we're losing those frequencies. It's just, you will not get that body. So phase is really, really important. So let's jump in. How come out here, brother. What we're going to do, we're going to start with uh, hearing it with the kick drum. And then we're going to hear it with the overhead and the snare. And then I'm going to do it with both. And what we're listening for, if you've got a pair of headphones, even if they're I, you know, your iPhone headphones, earbuds, put them on so you can hear well better than your phone or your, your laptop speakers or whatever because the low end will be elusive on laptop speakers. Hal, just hit the kick drum for me. Let's start off with the kick drum. Sounds like a kick. Did we lose that? See, we flip that face. Bam. Thanks, sir. The other thing that will happen is we're going to lose some we're going to lose some volume. If things are in phase, it's going to sound a little bit louder. You flip it out of phase, not only we're we losing that body and killing or losing the frequencies that are canceling out, which means we're going to lose volume. It's, you know, you're going to end up trying to crank things to make up for it and then trying to EQ and you just got a sloppy sloppy mess on your hands then. All right, hey, play me a groove. Boom. So kick in, kick out, snare, and overhead. All right. So just, I'm going to let him play another four bars and then I just listen to, just listen to the sound. Okay. And then we're going to, we're going to flip some stuff and see what happens. All right. Play, give me another like four bars or so. All right. You got that sound memorized? Good. So now do the same thing, but just keep looping that. And we're going to flip the polarity or the flip the phase on the kick and the overhead. All right, go for it, Holmes. Trying to learn my Mandarin. All right, hey, just <laughs> give me that same same groove minus the kick drum. Just play the hi hat and the snare drum, please. With the two in the door, yeah, two. Okay, so right now, right now I have both. Nothing is face flip. Flip the overhead. Out. Add the kick drum. See the low end, everything moves back. And it comes this three, four, boom. Once we get the phase flipped, all the, the sound comes forward, especially that bottom end. All of a sudden, we've got this big, nice bottom to sit everything on top of. 
All right, make sure we're in phase, okay? Cool. Go ahead and play that same riff. Oh. 